The Iron Dome is a temporary protection for Israel. God, according to scripture, is going to lift that Iron Dome and Israel is going to have some horrible, horrible times. Jesus in Matthew 24, Luke 17, all those Mount Olivet passages that deal with the destruction of Israel. Not only was it in 70 AD, but Jesus was forecasting the future. And in that future, Israel will be brought to its knees. But once it's brought to its knees, it will come to know Jesus Christ as the rejected Messiah. He will become the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. Zechariah tells us that the nation of Israel will weep and say, where were those wounds in your hands? How did you get them? And when Jesus says, I got them for you, the house of Israel, because I gave my life for you, they will weep bitterly and repent, and they will be restored. And God's promises through Abraham that his seed would multiply and fill the earth will come to pass. And the church will be brought into the nation of Israel, and it will be both Jew and Gentile that will rule and reign with Jesus for a thousand years. So I'm encouraged. I'm what you call an optimistic pessimist. I know there's rough, horrible days coming, known as the tribulation period. But I also know that Jesus is going to rule and reign and come back to this earth to resolve all the sin and the issues of life and start anew. So the nation of Israel, we are to pray for. We are to love the nation of Israel and ask God's protection and blessing upon it. And it's more than an iron physical dome. It's a spiritual dome. And it says in the Song of Solomon, His banner over me is love. So the love that God has for Israel, it's a covering that He will not neglect, reject, and forget His people. And neither should we. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we pray for the nation of Israel. We know that the scripture says you will bless us when we pray for Israel. We thank you, Lord, that you have a plan for these people. We love the Jewish people. And Father, I pray from our lips would never come a spirit of anti-Semitism. I pray, Lord Jesus, that we would love the people that you love and the people that you made a covenant with. We thank you, Lord, for the nation of Israel for keeping it, restoring it, preserving it, and in the future, completely establishing it where you will rule and reign. In Jesus' name, amen. I leave you with this word to pause and ponder.